Hi there, my YouTube friends. I'm going to try and make myself a summertime decorated bottle. I think I have enough fake flowers I can use. I actually don't remember what this bottle's from. I cleaned it up last year and I just totally forget what it was, but I, I kind of like the shape of it. And it is, let's see, about 11 inches tall, so slightly shorter than a wine bottle. And I happen to have this cute napkin. My friend Thelma gave me a whole pile of fun napkins, and I think this one will work because it's about the right size. Here, I'll scoot over a little bit. The little pineapple dudes with the glasses are about the same size as that, so I think that'll work. But I look through my paint stash and don't actually have paint. So what I'm going to try and do, or I might even use yellow. I'm still thinking about it, though. I've got white and light antique white, and this one called Thistle Blossom. And this looks like hot pink fuchsia to me. So if, if I put a bit of this and either... I'm leaning towards antique at the moment. I'm going to do them both and see what color I can get. But it might be more clear to use white. I'll have to see, because this part of the napkin is most definitely white. And that is kind of a clearer pink, so I'm probably going to have to go with white and see if I can get a color that works. Otherwise, I've got to think of something else. Okay, so, I got a pretty good pink. I use mostly white, and enough of that pink so that it looks kind of like cotton candy, sort of. Sorry, the light's a little funny. I did one coat with the pouncy type of brush, sponge, whatever you call it, and I'm going to let it dry. I don't think it will need two, because I'm going to put the napkin over it, and then I will cover it with Mod Podge, and I think it will turn out just fine. We'll see how it goes once it's dry. I've got napkin on one side. I'm going to put the other one on the other side. Now, in spite of seeing other people do things on YouTube to have no wrinkles in the napkin, I have never found a foolproof method for that. So I just do it. I have done a little bit of Mod Podge. I'm using satin, by the way, on this one. Just thin it slightly, and then, like when I do the next one, I'm going to center it up. I'll put a little bit in the middle, and then I'll just stick the napkin down and just sort of smooth as I go. Sometimes it's a, one of these brushes like this, these spongy type ones, just gently. And sometimes I just kind of go with my finger and just smooth it along. When it's all done and Mod Podge over the top, you can't really even tell that there's wrinkles there anyway. I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to use it for flowers. I'll sit it on a table and stick a flower on the top, and you won't be able to tell. I think it'll be fine, so I'll show you guys what it looks like when I'm done. I may or may not put ribbon or something around the top. I'll see. That fake grass might look cute, but I don't think it will glue nicely because it's too all over the place. But I'll keep thinking about it. There we go. Both sides done. I guess there's a little gap there. It's kind of the back. No one's going to be able to know. And I just ordered some raffia ribbon from Amazon, so I'm going to tie around the top, tie around the bottom, and maybe up around there. I will take a picture when it is completely finished, and I will post that in my community page. And I'm only filming in the kitchen, because the light is better at the moment. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. Bye-bye.